Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Black Forex Academy channel. My name is Laurent. You can call me Black. So we're going to be looking into the weekly breakdown for the currency pairs for this coming week. And we have two special bonuses today. We'll be looking at US 30 and volatility 75. So spicing things up a little bit, we're going to start with US 30 today. <clears throat> so on US 30, as you can see here, we're in the four hour, prices did break out of this rising wage pattern. As you can see here, prices broke and retested the structure here. Still coming down here to this support area, failing to break it, and then holding out until this resistance is on right here. So what I'll be expecting to see in this currency pair this coming week is obviously this is an uptrending indice, right? For those that know how I trade indices, you have to look at the main trend of the index before you actually determine your bias. This is an uptrending index because the US 30 represents the top 30 companies of the US. And like for the past decade, this has been an uptrending index, right? So um, I'm bullish biased in the long run, obviously. But in this short run here, as you can see, prices did break below out of this ascending wedge. I'll be expecting to see a little bit retracement before prices actually gain some bullish momentum to actually keep on pushing higher. So keeping that in mind, this is a bullish pair. I'm going to be waiting to see prices, how they will break out of here. If prices break out of here, I'll be taking my first trade here with take profits at around here. And then my second entry will be after prices break out of this second zone and then pushing me all the way down here. After prices reach here, I'll not be looking for any other entries to sell this particular index. I'll just be waiting to buy. Because obviously, if we actually incorporate with the Fibonacci, because we believe this is a retracement, so trading off the golden retracement key levels, um, the 0 0.5 and the 0 0.61 actually lie around this area here. So once prices reach here, I wouldn't be necessarily looking for short trades. I'll just be looking to go long. So that's how I expect US 30 to play out in this currency in this coming week, excuse me. So um, yeah, let's go at it. Um, now looking at the currency pairs, we do have Euro USD. Euro USD last week has been very bullish as you can see here, like the whole of the week, it's been bullish, crazy, creating higher highs and nothing less, right? As we approach the end of the week, it broke above this structure here, this previous market structure, retesting it. And then looks like it just broke another minor market structure here, right? As you can see here, this was the highest points that the market reached. And as you can see here, prices clearly broke above them. So what I'll be expecting in this currency pair is from this market structure here, as you can see here, we'll be trading off small zones so now from this market structure here, this is what I'll be expecting to see of the Euro USD to play out in this coming week. I'll be expecting to see prices push back here and then go long to around that point there, right? So that's the Euro USD, how I expect it to play out. And from this market structure here, I'll be expecting to see prices push down here to look for more bullish momentum if it will keep on going long or if it will break this market structure, then we're going to sell with it. So. We do have GBPUSD. Um, with GBPUSD, as you can see here, prices clearly also in this particular pair were creating higher highs. This was the previous high. It created another higher high, but despite, unlike the EURUSD, this pair actually pushed down and I think it just retraced because it hit the 0 0.5 here at around this zone here. So what I'll be expecting to see in this particular pair is a continuation in this bullish movement until it reaches here because it broke out of this descending wedge, this falling wedge pattern. And the take profit should be the same distance as where the wedge started. So it's the same zone here. So I'll be expecting to see prices bounce off this market structure here and come all the way to around 1.42. So I'll be taking the trade when prices break above this zone here, retest, and I'll be looking for entries above once prices have already broken this minor zone here. So that's all about GBPUSD. 
we do have USD chef. USD chef prices, we've, we are holding this pair. We're still holding. Guys, don't close. Once the trade goes your way, don't close the winning trade. Let it run. Let it go wild. This trade is still in it. You know it. <laughs> so our first take profit was hit like two weeks ago. Right now, we're still holding it. The pair doesn't have that much momentum, but we're still holding it. No doubt there. So with this pair, I'll be expecting to see prices push all the way down here to take profit. So what I'm expecting to see is that if prices, as you can see here, they don't have that much momentum. If prices do retrace to this zone here, we'll be adding more positions until it sells all the way down here. So if it retraces to around this part here, we'll be adding more trades to fall all the way down to our take profit. If it doesn't, we'll keep on holding and swing low until it hits our take profit. So we do have USDJPY, another major pair. With this pair, I believe I sent this analysis last week that this pair will fall all the way down here, and it did. So I hope you guys caught it. Um, now from this market structure here, as you can see, prices have started with a very strong bullish momentum. So I'll be expected to see prices bounce off it here, retraced around this market structure here at around 0 0.5 before actually continuing its bearish move. This will be quite a move. I'll be expecting to see these prices fall from this market structure here, fall all the way down, all the way down there. This is USD JPY. Now, the last pair that I told we'll be looking at is volatility 75. As you can see here, prices have broken above this market structure here, creating newest higher highs. Prices have never reached this price market prices here. They did yesterday, and right now prices are retracing. So what I'll be expecting to see is that prices did break this very strong market structure. I wouldn't be expecting to see prices fall back that's a very strong market structure. Now, considering volatility 75 is an uptrending indice, so I'll be expecting to see prices keep on pushing higher. So what I'll be expecting to see is a little bit retracement to this market structure here that was broken before we actually keep on pushing higher. So that's what I expect to see with volatility 75, guys. And if you've reached this far in the video, I really appreciate you. I appreciate you. Um, if you found this video to be of help, give us a quick like. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you'd like to be updated more, in the description below is a link to our Telegram channel where we send daily updates. Feel free to join. Welcome to the family. This was Black speaking. Peace and love.